Hey guys, it is Robert with the Sled Dog Jeep and we have one heck of an update for you guys. Check out this beast. Thanks for joining us here on the Sled Dog Jeep channel. It's about negative five up here in Willow, Alaska and quite balmy, so to speak. But I uh, want you guys give you guys an update here on the Jeep. A lot of work has been done since our last video. And my goodness, what a transformation. We had to get this done this winter because our beloved 2001 Toyota Tundra is on its last leg. And we had to make sure that we had a dog truck to transport the dogs and get to races and other events this winter. So if you remember from the last video, we had just purchased the Jeep. Not a lot of mods on it yet. I think we had the graphics at that point, but other than that, it was pretty stock. So my buddy at Cajun Flame in Talkeetna, Alaska, his name is John. He did all of this work in a very quick fashion. Well, it took him about a month from start to finish because there were several issues along the way. So let's get started here on the front. The first thing we did is add a steel bumper underneath all of that there. Just a uh, stock off-road bumper we got from our buddies over at Trail Toys. And then we built out this contraption here. And I'm gonna show you guys what that is in a little bit. We have a front hitch for a bike rack when we do dry land racing. Put the fog lights in there. Have not got the winch or the moose lights yet, but uh, it looks pretty close to what we had on the Tundra. So we'll come around here. Not a lot was done body wise. We did get the graphics, the inlays there of our sled dog kennel team, Aneke. That is my buddy Bodie, that picture there. Got the graphics there for mushing.com. We just recently purchased Mushing Magazine and we're really excited about this. Oh, by the way, this is a 2020 Jeep Gladiator, the Overland edition. So moving on back here, this is the dog box from the Toyota Tundra. Not the best scenario. We wanted to rebuild a new one, but uh, this will have to do for right now. So my buddy John built the flatbed. We'll talk about that in just a second. Built these steps. You can hardly see those so we can get up on top there. We wanted to make sure we had enough clearance so we could still take off the top in the summertime. That was a key feature of this. So moving on around, built two gearboxes, locking gearboxes down on the bottom. Put the running lights around the side there. This is a 14 hole box. It weighs a ton, probably almost a thousand pounds. It's built with three quarter inch plywood and it probably has three gallons of stain and paint on it over the years. It's about a 14 year old box. He built the steel bumper there with the tie outs as well as the hitches there, installed a new rear mount hitch, trailer light system, airbag system. I'm going to talk a little bit about the stock camera mount. I uh, want to make sure that uh, we get that painted black and uh, set it all up here in a little bit. Here is the back of the box. Once we rebuild the box, we are going to take our signs down and put up our spare tire, some uh, other things up there to make it a little bit more overland friendly. Has that ladder to get up on top. This is where we stack our sleds there. Moving on around. Another gearbox and something that you cannot see is our buddies at the local Mida shop. Extended the exhaust tip out to the edge of the bumper. It was about 
where that lock is on that box before and that had to be changed because when you have dogs in the box you don't want that exhaust blowing up in the box when you're parked or driving so we set it out so it blows straight out there so a little bit of damage on the box trying to get it moved but that's okay we are going to rebuild that in the summertime you can see a little bit better on those steps there to get up on the top of the box and then on around to the front so let's talk a little bit about our issues so we got the box or the bed built ready to install it and quickly realized it was too heavy for the springs so we had to pivot a little bit and order an airbag system from trail toys took about three weeks or so to get that installed by our buddies over at wasilla auto mall we got to give a shout out to john and the boys over there those guys have been taking care of us ever since we moved to alaska so they installed the airbag system and uh really set it up nice to be able to to give us the suspension that we need we will end up putting on probably a three or five inch lift with this probably in the summertime a little bit better tires and wheels with that and it'll give us a little bit more clearance john also had to take off john at cajun flame had to take the bed back off and uh, put some spacers underneath it to give it some more clearance i think he put four inch spacers on that to give us the space requirement we need so it was not rubbing on the tire and uh, this as i said this is a 14 hole box our dogs are about 50 pounds a piece so if you put 14 dogs that's another 700 pounds ish or so fully loaded and surprisingly, from my understanding, the Jeep Gladiator payload is about the same as the newer Toyota Tundras. Newer meaning same year, the 2020. So I think we're gonna be okay. It is about the same payload as our old 2001 Tundra. So I think it's gonna be just fine. But as Michelle said, my wife, it is pretty low. It needs to be jacked up a little bit to uh to get that stance that we're looking for and definitely some bigger tires so yeah that's it right there and uh, we are pretty excited about it and look forward to all of the things to come i am going to show you guys the tie out system next so here is the tie out system for the dogs those swing out from the front and rear bumper as you can see on both sides it's a little tough to see on the video there but we put a cable system down with those tie outs and then when we drop the dogs out of the boxes they're on a cable system along the side of the truck that way when we're hooking up to go for a run or a race all of the dogs are tied out there and contained so we can quickly grab them and get ready to go and of course those fold up back into their respectable or respective notches there on the bumpers and we're ready to rock and roll so that is the tie out system so guys what do you think about the sled dog jeep a 2020 jeep gladiator overland edition i think it is the first of its kind at least in the united states maybe in the world have you guys ever seen one like this what do you think about it in the comments? Would you do something like this with your Jeep? Thanks a lot, guys. Looking forward to interacting with you guys, and we will see you next time.